Well, Coach, uh, what can you say about your team's effort tonight? How special was that? Well, I thought it was a great 40-minute effort uh, from all of our guys, and um, I thought it was a big-time compliment to them the way, obviously, that we've gone through the season of this early part. We've had leads in some of the games and, unfortunately, wasn't able to uh, finish it. Uh, finish them out. Uh, but tonight, I thought we were able to put it together. Uh, lessons learned from some of the mistakes that we made in um, losing those, uh, uh, having setbacks and those other opportunities. Uh, but it all came together uh, tonight and uh, couldn't be happier for a great bunch of guys. You know, a lot of people make uh, a lot of the fact that you guys came into this game winless, but People don't realize that you're playing some tough competition. You're trying to get your guys ready and getting better. And you do this a lot, right? Um, have you seen the progression to get to this point from your team? Absolutely. And uh, talk to our team all the time. And one of the big things to uh, stress to them is that uh, we're playing a very hectic schedule. Uh, and they know that our first 13 games of the season, it's, uh, they're going to be on the road. Uh, 11 of them, obviously, in nine conference. And so what I'd like to take away from it when you plan a very rigorous and, and tough schedule is though that we're playing, uh, sometime you win, sometime you learn. And uh, this early part of the season, we learned, uh, we, we were learning a, a lot about ourselves. And uh, we were able to take uh, from some of those setbacks, uh, the things that we had to learn. And uh, it was a combination of things tonight we were able to put together uh, and win. So uh, when our guys focus is on the continuing to learn, uh, playing extremely hard, getting through the difficult challenges. They chose not to splinter, yeah, but they chose to come together. Uh, and I think when you have a group like that, you give yourself a chance. And they've been battling and fighting and, and doing those things on the road. And, and tonight, it, it, it certainly paid off for us. What's it like for you for you to see the emotion on the on the sidelines on the bench from your guys? I even saw some people doing the Gator Chomp on the side. I have, might be a little extra, but that that emotion for for these guys to show uh, after all the hard work's got to be pretty rewarding. Well, fortunately, I don't uh, get a chance to watch the bench too much during the game, so I didn't have a chance to see any of that. I think when I get a chance to watch the playback of the game, I may uh, catch. Uh, uh, some of it, but uh, these guys, you know, when you put the work in, it's no telling uh, what kind of, um, you know, feedback, obviously, they they were getting, but we like to try to keep it in between the lines, and I'm sure through the excitement, uh, it was a great opportunity for them as a team to uh, try to give some of the stuff back, I guess, uh, that was being dished out, uh, but at the same time, uh, a tremendous win uh, for a great group, and, and, and to be able to stay locked in like that for uh, 40 minutes, uh, was huge for us. You're the first SWAC team to beat a ranked SEC team since 1936 when this whole AP era started. Uh, when you hear a stat like that, what's that What's that mean to you? It just uh, says, obviously, when you have things out there, at some point somebody's going to do it. I'm glad it was us uh, at the end of the day. And, uh, <clears throat> we again, we play a lot of ranked teams. We play a lot of the top uh, teams in the country, Florida Bend, uh, one of them tonight, and uh, for our guys, you know, they go into the game, and I think I was asking the press conference, do we go in the game thinking that we can win? We do. Uh, we don't prepare at all uh, for games and thinking that uh, we're going to lose. We feel as though that if we can go in and put our best foot forward, limit the mistakes, uh, play the best of our abilities, anything can happen, and I thought we were able to do that tonight against, again, against a very quality basketball team. And finally, what's the biggest thing you want to see from your, from your team moving forward after a win like this? No complacency. I'm sure that's kind of the message from this point forward. Just keep getting better and better. Oh, we just got to continue to improve. You know, we've got a great group of seniors, some guys that had a great run last year. They chose to come back this year and put on that uniform again. Uh, they were rewarded well tonight. Now they know as a team what we're really capable of doing. And uh, so it was a great start for us tonight. Uh, so our next game will take on a whole new life of its own. And so you take one game at a time, just like the first seven uh, that we had uh, tough setbacks in, each game took on a life of its own. This one, uh, the same. So we'll just have to prepare, get ready for our next opponent. And uh, hopefully we can come out and, and play uh, to the level uh, with the excitement, the energy uh, that we did tonight uh, for 40 minutes and uh, we'll see what happens.
Tiger Nation is excited. Everybody on social media buzzing about this. So congratulations, Coach. Well, we certainly appreciate it. Thanks so much for your time and go Tigers.